Welcome to Season 4 of Master Saga. Each week, MBT and I open packs in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel before dueling to determine that episode's winner. This season, we've made several exciting rule changes, and there's plenty of surprises planned for future episodes. Tune in every Wednesday for new episodes of Master Saga Season 4. Head over to ImperiumDuels.com to get your Master Saga and Master Roulette mat today, and don't forget to use promo code DZV10 at checkout to get 10% off your entire order. Yeah. <coughs> YouTube! No, I, how, we, how do we want to do that? HTTP colon slash slash www.youtube.com backslash Crush cards. Ah, another week, another episode where Doug gift, gifts us a- that, that fucks up the auto balance. Ah, uh, another week, another episode where Doug gifts us a best of three. I'm pretty sure with that one, we have permanently taken the lead in Master Saga, but still a lot can happen in the last couple of episodes. I don't want to just win this series. I want to dominate it. So we're pulling today. As you can see, we already have a really powerful pendulum strategy at our disposal, and we have a really low investment power play in Zodiac Dryden't. That means almost any set that we open that includes pendulum cards is going to be a huge net positive and potentially get that sloth line that would have been difficult for Doug had he not opened a kaiju a little more consistent. So as always, our pulls are going to begin with two. So as always, our pulls are going to begin with 10 packs of Master. Now note that I'm using gems that I have farmed on this account, which means that they're going to be bad. Look, see? <clears throat> Nothing. Uh, I guess Chimeratech Fortress Dragon is important. Okay, something in here. Uh, another Shadow is pretty good, actually. Oh, so you were lying. You were lying. What do we got here? Yajiro Vader. Oh. And Spellbook of Fate. Uh, I do not want to go into that set. One other thing that would be interesting to open is between the last couple of episodes and this episode... Oh! It doesn't even open a set. Um, the B Troopers have gotten a set. God, God damn, damn, come, come on! on. <clears throat> so if we can open the B Trooper set, I would be really happy. We, we have everything to make that deck work except for the extra deck guys. Nothing. It wouldn't be an MBT opening if we weren't halfway through only having revealed one set. Power Sink Stone also does not open one. Incredible. This is really good. Surely the UR will open one. <clears throat> okay, here we go. <laughs> A fucking G Golem card. Oh, thank God. That's that's actually an interesting pack. Okay. Better than no URs? Is it? I feel like it isn't. Okay, we got some in this one for sure. Oh, Hoot Cake and Witchcrafter. Those are two interesting sets. Okay, we just got, I think, one more. Runic does not open a set yet. Mm. Cool. cool. Well, six. I mean, it's not one. So let's see if we can pick something. All right, our choices are Secret Fighters, Altered Herald. Oh, the doll pack. Oh, it's got to be the doll pack, right? Oh, we're doing this. I'm not even paying attention to the other ones. Okay, 10 packs here. Joseph's deck is crazy, but also I could probably play a little better. And uh, yeah, we were looking at the replay um, just now, and we saw that uh, last week we could have won um, if we played Link Spider in game two, or if I just saw a lot of Yazi lines, I think we could have been a little bit better. But uh, I think this week we can maybe have a little bit of a better chance because maybe we'll read our cards. We'll take things slow. We'll read things. Um, also, oh my gosh, a second big Chungus. Honestly, I would add that to the deck, yes. It's kind of in a weird spot right now where I do think that our deck is very powerful, but if you look at some of those hands last week, like uh, game two, we opened two vanillas, game three, we opened effectively three vanilla cards with the unexpected dies. And um, I would like to get to a spot where we maybe don't have to play all of those. The Tenny monsters are in a weird spot. Um, what is this? Didn't we pull this already? I'm oh, steering the Dragon Crown. I guess not. New. We're kind of in a weird spot where like the Tenny cards are basically like you can't activate their effects if you don't draw the Sword Soul cards. And I think that is kind of like a downside of our deck right now. Uh, okay, I mean, we have two of this now. I haven't been playing it because we've been playing the Tenny's and it conflicts with those, but. 
Uh, we might honestly just pivot decks. I don't know. We haven't really, we haven't unlocked a single secret pack actually. Double Cyclone, Thunder Dragon Hawk. I mean, that's a good card. Uh, I don't. I mean, it's better than the Fortune Lady secret pack. That's for sure. Thunder Dragons. I don't know. I mean, you guys know about that set. Maybe we could like. Hmm. Thunder Dragon, because that cannot pivot in anything. Earthbound Immortal? What's going on? These are just not pulls. Act number three, uh, Gold Driver. Blizzard is a card. Pack number nine. Isn't the Fortune Lady Synchro playable? I mean, yeah, it's just the Fortune Lady um, cards are all really high rarity. Here we go. Okay, finally. What do we got? Please give me some good secret packs. Ghost Tricks. Maybe that's what we need to beat him. Generators. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, Salamangrates. I've unlocked this pack a lot of times. We have a ton of cards for it. We have a lot of Cybris support. Right now, I'm pretty sure it's the best offering here. Oh, here we go. More Hollows. What do we got? Card of Demise? Advanced Heraldi Art. God, these have been some stinkers. What are these? Anti-Human Intelligence Messiah. Okay, I'm um, not sure what I'm gonna do with that. These were some pulls. Not sure if they were good pulls though. Like let's let's take a look at what we're working with here. I mean, look at this shit. Okay, so this is going to look very stupid, but we're picking beloved dolls. And you might be wondering why. It's because of the card currently on screen. Not, Not anymore. anymore. Box of Friends. If this card is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon two normal monsters with zero attack or defense and different names from your deck in defense position, but they can't be used as synchro material. Now, the alternate version of Metal Foe that we had prepped out for last episode utilized this card to summon Genus Loci from deck, but it can also summon the Doll Monsters, which are not bad. So this would be a really great supplemental archetype to play with Metal Foes if we can find the good pieces of it. It's weird that we're going into the uh, Medolce pack to play zero Medolces. There's our box of friends, great. And there's Six Samurai United for some reason. Oh wow, it's the bisexual goatee. Uh, Grandpa Demetto is an interesting card. We might end up playing the like Princess Cologne stuff. Oh, it's coming out. We haven't pulled a hollow from the set yet, so I'm hoping we do here. Oh. Or oh, it's lying. It's lying. Oh, come on. I mean, that's funny, but not really what we're looking for. Bear, bear, good. We're looking for the normals as well. At least one a piece of each normal. Or maybe we're just looking for Bapple over and over again. Oh. No. <laughs> no. All right, come on. Ah, it's the Dolce. That's fine. Jeez, we are getting killed on these openings. Oh, come on. Okay, please be from the pack. Please be one of the doll cards. It's not from the pack. We're getting every hollow out of pack, though. Whoa! That one might actually come up. A dark monster and a pendulum monster? Can you think of maybe a way we could make that? Oh, thank God. We also wanted a zombie wow really badly. Okay, we got something there at the end. Oh, thank God. And a Miss Machen in here at the end. Hey, it's Zombie Stein! What's he doing in here? All right. All right, not ideal, but we got five more. Looking for more zombie. Oh! Man, would they really want us to play Medolce? I've never seen this card. Why has he got his ass out? Another zombie wow, please. Nope. That was three. We got. Oh shit, her again. Pull Princess Cologne. I'm trying. We do have a UR craft, so we could theoretically pull whatever we need. Another box of friends. Mess and Gelato. Man, they do not want to give me the doll stuff. And last pack. Just hoping for the normals here. There's one. 
And there's two. Oh, we really clinched it in the close there. Holy guacamole. All right, so we got two Bear Bear, two Madken, and two Demetto, which is probably fine. Uh, we also have three Box of Friends, so uh, we can we can maybe make this work. Yeah, I think we have to start with Salad. We really only need to pull Bailings and Gazelles at three, so if we pull more of that, it's pretty good too. I mean, we just have like so many of these cards. It looks really strong, so let's go one pack at a time. You know, we might open a different pack. I'm not against that, but uh, okay, certainly not going to the Hydro Gen X pack. Salmagate Rage, I think, is uh, limited, if I remember correctly, but uh, everything else in this deck is at three. Could be pretty good. Pack number two. Let's see if we can get a hollow that actually matters. Uh, outside the pack. Foxy, Burning Draw, Tyrant Dragon. Okay. The thing is, like, Joseph's deck is um, pretty resilient right now, and also, like, I don't know. I just think that Salad is a deck that's pretty good for grind games, and, you know, we're heading into the finale in a few episodes here where we'll need to play multiple decks. Next pack. Oh, shit. Oh, that was three? Okay, this is pack number four. Star Seraph skill. Oh, Heraldi record. We actually have a couple of those. Kind of just pulling ass from here, I'm going to be honest. Pack number five. Yeah, I mean, we're not getting other options. So, probably just stick with salad. The other packs just weren't really, like, real. So, Salem Great Mirror. Broken. Huh, okay. Yeah, this is no other options. Okay, salad it is. We do have... We don't have hollows. We do have some cyber support in our collection, though. I was looking through. We have uh, multiple copies of some of those cards that, like, you can use, like the microcoder type cards that you can use in your hand for link summons, and um, that could be pretty good. Okay, ancient chant. We can go into the wing dragon of Ra. Broken. Don't we have like a Egyptian god card? I thought we did. I feel like there was an episode where we pulled like two of them. So maybe. Salmon gray mole. Wow, broken. Bailinx pack number two. Okay, so we actually can play, like, legitimately play Salad right now. Like, I know it sounds crazy picking Salad over Sword Soul, and I don't think I'll necessarily do that, but consistency matters. And, like, we really, like, if you look at those last two hands in that episode um, that we just played, I did not open, you know, the Moye, the Ecclesia, the Taya, the Emer Like, there's only so many of those cards available. And if you don't draw them, that, that kind of sucks. sucks. So it might be, uh, you know, better just to play a deck that's kind of like consistently okay, consistently does something. Hey, that's pretty good, actually. Security Dragon is not a bad Link 2 monster. And um, especially if we, you know, can craft like another Gazelle or something along those lines. What we got here? Virgil? Salmon Great Blaze Dragon? Not the best one, but uh, we'll take it, I guess. Pack number seven. Vanonite's Wing. Oh, Crawler's Spine. Broken. Man in your bug. Salmon Great Transcendence. Maybe we can play um, the Fusion of Fire, too. That's actually like a really good removal card. Circle. Great pickup. And Pyro Phoenix. Second copy of this is actually huge because that means we can use the board wiping effect. Maybe we will play this. I know it sounds crazy, like, you know, Salad over Sword Soul, but like. Consistency. Sword Soul deck is uh, pretty powerful, though, so I don't know. I'll take a look at this one and see how good I can actually get it to be. If the turn one combo can end on, like, two interruptions consistently... Oh, my God, that's so good. Like, we literally just have two of every salad card in the pack. I don't know. I don't know. Let's get cooking. All right. Well, not exactly sold on this, but I'm excited to see where it goes. So this is Box of Friends Metal Foes. If you're unfamiliar with Box of Friends, this actually saw a fair amount of experimentation when Metal Foes first came out. It allows you when sent to the graveyard to summon two normal monsters with zero attack or defense, but they can't be used as synchro material and they're destroyed during your next end phase. This is a great mechanism by which you can summon Sunsea Genius Loki from your deck. Okay, I know that we have kind of been resting on our laurels in terms of the plant engine, but this is one of the most consistent ways to find this, and it also gets to play a significant amount of the metal foes that have been getting us so much success in the previous weeks. Now, the downside is we don't have room for the Zodiacs if we do this, which is maybe not ideal, uh, but there's a very small chance that we have the capacity to both do Sunsea Genus Loci off of something like an Unexpected Die and Box of Friends, summoning Doll Monster Miss Machden, 
and Doll Monster Bear Bear in order to go into Chocanine into Dryadent anyway. By the way, everyone told me that I misread Piercing the Darkness. I'm reading it again. I didn't misread this card. You're misreading it. Then in the extra deck, we've got Minimal, Metal Foes, Fusions, and then a bunch of the Plant Link stuff alongside a couple of Zoos. Uh, we're still playing Electromite though, because that card's broken. I'm not super confident that we'll be able to blow up Doug this game. I feel like the last one felt like a bit of a fluke, uh, but we already have beat him in terms of series victories. So the only thing on my mind at this point is the Iron Man at the end of the season. See you in games. All right, here's the deck. I decided to take Danger Sword Soul. I know that I haven't played the Dangers in a few weeks, but initially I thought the Sword Soul cards would work best alongside a bunch of worm monsters to make sure that you always had a reveal for them. But now I'm starting to think that I just want to draw into the good Sword Soul cards. I feel like those hands with all tenies were really, really rough the last couple weeks. So hopefully by doing this, we can draw into the most powerful cards in our deck. I know people are probably a little bit sick of seeing Sword Soul, but honestly, I think Joseph's decks are crazy, so we have to play our best strategies. We lost last week, so uh, we definitely have to try to build our best decks ever. For our craft today, we're going to be going for one copy of Salomon Great Circle, and then we're going to be using the Lifeline Supercharge to craft one copy of Salomon Great Gazelle. We're not playing Salomon Greats in this episode, of course, but I think it could come up in the next few weeks. Let's get into duels, though, and see how it goes. All right, let's see if I can open something playable. Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't think I did. No, this is full combo. <laughs> what a roller coaster of emotions that was. All right, crush cards, are you prepped for the timer zoom? <laughs> I think if he has Ash, we can't beat it, chat. So we're just going to gut it. All right. Playing I'm around the wall. card you may not be familiar with, buddy. Yeah. I'm talking about Zom Bow Wow Wow. You're okay. Okay. This isn't even a joke yet because yeah, no, these can get triggered off of the like I understand where we're going here. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure you got the so you went into the you pivoted into the Medolce pack to get the box of friends stuff to I mean, I'm ready. I'm you ready. are correct. You are correct. You figured it out. Okay. Set counter here. Yeah. All right. Now we'll just lose to Ash Blossom. Does he have it? No, I, I it's oh, only a one of <laughs> Wait, what? No. Reading? Oh my god. You have to do one with zero attack, one with zero defense. Did you not know that? No, 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 no. Oh. You're thinking of box of friends. Oh, you can special summon one level so one monster with zero attack. Oh, it has to have zero attack and defense. But you have to be able to negate its effects. Oh, zero and zero? I literally didn't read. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's say I think we <laughs> I mean, this is the one you want, right? I mean, this is... Well, I only have one metal foe. Box pass? This was full combo? Oh, well, we're gonna... <laughs> okay. it, it was full combo. I just elected not to do it for some reason. Oh my god, you thought the Zambawa could summon Lokai? It did. That would have been nuts! <laughs> Special one, that would have been crazy, that would have been crazy. Okay. Um, Just step there. Wow, that is really unfortunate, I think. Um, Welp, let's activate long one. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's been three sometimes weeks. You know? you're, sometimes you're on one side of the reading, sometimes you're on the other. Yeah, you know yeah, saying? I must say, I think I got like 10 to your one right there, so you're fine, you're fine. This is my gift to you, um, those in the comments. The question... Comments, this is, um. wait, is this like History of Yu-Gi-Oh? I can't remember, can they see my hand? Yeah, yeah, it went on your turn, yeah. Comments, be cool, all right? <laughs> we could just pretend that that was my only play. Like, am I doing this one? Probably. Yeah, let's set. All right. Activate Jack Club. Oh, shit. I was like, why is he setting shit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, right. I don't know. Um, I thought these might be interesting to try in here. I, I don't really know if their levels make sense, but I just felt like I, I do. I do appreciate this. <laughs> We're playing like, we're both playing like our clearly best deck with like the worst side engine possible. Well, it was because like, I just got yeah, sick yeah. of drawing all those fucking vanilla cards. I was like, no, maybe I that's not I gonna... what I should be doing. Well, you um... put Doom Warrior? No! <laughs> what does Metaphil's counter say? Let me just read this card real quick again. Oh, read it, please. If card you control is by battle, a card effects was one of during night plays. Graveyard, okay. Um, Weirdly enough, I think the play is... Oh. This. 
Oh, Jesus, I'm dead. And then will Yazi itself oh, and the here. counter yep. trigger the Yazi. Mm -hmm. We'll go, you know, special Taya. Yeah. And this, See, th this week, effects, how, right? this week I can remember oh, the fucking combo, but last week I got too tunneled on not summoning Clayman. It's ridiculous. Well, you know. It happens. Look um, where I am. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah, this, yeah, we then we'll, to, we we'll do here, a little chat. bit of this. We'll do a little bit of this. Um, you have to pivot here, chat. Yeah. You wouldn't hurt doll monster bear bear. He's right. a bear. Right. Even yeah. if we get damaged, it's, it's okay. okay. <laughs> Grandpa Demetto can patch us up. Right, right, right. Yeah, I'll select another card, I think. We'll, we'll target that one. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll activate the tie effect. Why not? Why not? Oh, I bet. You know, Chad, I don't even think the real combo would have beat this. <laughs> the, uh, no, like, the, the Jackalope is pretty cool. Okay, let's go, you know, this, and we'll pop, uh, I mean, I'm just, I'm just killing you now, so do this, uh, yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have revealed that I had oh, that. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, we were cooked no matter what. Yeah, Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> drew off the Jackalope, ah, oh, boo. It happens. <laughs> Okay, what is this lethal yet? I don't know. I don't want to do math anymore. Okay, so is this lethal? Yeah, yet? yeah. yeah. Make an eight and a fucking baron dog. I know you got it. Oh, no, we I got think Ching. just without making anything else, I think this is fine. I don't want to have to, you know, I don't want to spin any wheels here. Thirty-one. We have seventy-one on board. You're at sixty-eight. Okay, bad. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, we waited three weeks for that. <laughs> cool. <laughs> game two. It's okay. This I got this next one. Game two. Game two. All right, what are we working with? All right, here we go. Okay, uh, Volflame. Yeah. Zom Bow Wow. <laughs> yep, yeah, okay. we're back here. <laughs> Summon Lokai. Ippo. Oh my god! I, I did, did it again! again! What? No, you did it. No, you did it. Just literally lying. Yeah, I'm about just... to say. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you drew the second one this time. <laughs> what was it like last there game you had? A lot of these guys. Last game, did you have both Zombawa and Box of Friends in hand? <laughs> No, I actually oh. opened Zompawa Lokai, and I was just like, I don't need the normal Lokai. I'm going to get the counter as well. Yeah, why well, go for just the Lokai when you could get everything? This is pretty insane, though. Horrible okay, so action. yeah, this is going to summon... Um, okay, yeah. Because you're not plant-locked until, like, after okay. the sewing or whatever. What do, you, um, what do you want here? Do you want to see Doll Monster Bear Bear, or do you want to see Doll Monster Me? I think we got to read the other uh, flavor text, so... Okay, if I if I summon Miss Mockton, will you read the flavor text? Yeah, yeah, out loud. Yep, in character. Okay. Welcome to our house. Here I live with. Wait, what? This isn't a person. Doll monster. What is this archetype? She's a doll. Oh, cause it's it's doll. the the friend. She's a friend that's in. The box. These are cards that are in the box. Yeah. Yes, so yes, when yes. do you think we're gonna get that robot and that dragon? <laughs> uh, ooh, that's a good question. When when do we think you're gonna finish up this flavor text? <laughs> I finished it. Here I live with Cologne. No, no, Here got... I live with. Wait, yeah, Cologne, Grandpa Demito, and all the other dolls. That was good. That was good. All right, let's uh, let's do some combos. Box of Friends Metal out? Foes? Come on, you guys don't know anything about <laughs> Jank. Come on. This shit was the bomb. Yeah, I know. This is this one. Trying to get my Demito alone. Shut up. Okay. Fun fact Dow like Monster Demito. Miss Madchen only references effect monsters by their name. So, uh, you read any good books lately? Um, not not too recently, actually. I I find it I, I buy books and then I can only read them on planes. I j there's too much That's going exactly on in my, my life. Problem. 
Eighty percent of the reason I went to TwitchCon is because I have to read this book for Hard Legs like literature podcast. And yeah, I'm, like, I'm only gonna read it if I go on a plane. There you go. And that's what it took. I had I had it for months and did not read it. I read it on the plane. <laughs> I think I have a disease. Like YouTube has given me a disease. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the disease has a very specific name too. Yeah. Content creator. Yeah, Malayus. Yep, yep. But you see the new uh, Aromage support? They got new cards, new plant support. Yeah, it seems all right. And the new, oh, but more importantly, that fire monster seems pretty fucking good. That Link 3, that one seems yeah. strong. Yeah, that's like any fire deck I feel like wants to play that, especially Salami. Yeah, here's the Drya Threnia, Drya Threnia. Yeah, this that you you got it. I don't really have anything to do with all these extra guys. Uh, I mean, this one I have something to do with. Yeah, Thrasher. I thought about like playing the um 4, Doll Monster Xyz, but like she really does not do a goddamn thing. I guess I could have led this chat, but it really doesn't add anything to the end board. All right. I mean, we're just chilling. Um, See ya, Miss Moffin. Okay. Drop turn. Let me read this. Uh, okay. Sun Evil and Balloon. Uh, controlling five X. Student damage calc. Sure. Would have let you end on Bangalancer too. I don't want to hear that. I wish I was dead. Can you actually time him out? <laughs> Coulda, woulda, shoulda. Well, let's start clicking buttons. Reveal. I mean, that's ah, a pretty good button. I'm not gonna lie, that button is not bad. Well, let's do. Let's circle. Oh. I'm thinking about Ash Blossom here. Get the fuck out of here. You this don't is have kinda that. kind of weird. Um. Oh, I was like, why didn't you write? It's been three weeks. We banned Monk. Yeah, yeah there's no Monk anymore. <laughs> yeah, what's that? Hi, ah. Uh, yeah. How confident am I that you don't have... Um... Oh, Jesus Christ. Man, is this progression series? I just opened this uh... both games. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, so chat, this is a perfect encapsulation of what I meant, right? Because... If we had comboed correctly last time, we would be on this end board, but would have nothing to do against the change of heart. <laughs> wow, that's disastrous. Change of heart broken. Yeah. You just um, two in this game for some reason. Go for it. I'm not really sure what I can like do. You got a Sun Avalon spell trap? Uh, um, no, I mean, I wish. So this doesn't, uh, okay, if it leaves the field by card effect. It, okay, sure. Uh, normal Taya, I'm hoping that middle back row is anything too crazy. You actually know all three. It's Parametaphos, Counter, oh, and Oh, shit. Oh, my God. You're right. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, yeah, yeah, nothing going on here. Yeah, let's, let's tie up. Mm -hmm. um, it's just weird because, like, last week, everyone was mad at me for, like, not doing this exact combo. But, like, you know, I think it kind of makes it really... <laughs> it's more fun if I fuck up. Um, so the counter is the, the one viewers, that's closest baby. to the Volflame? <clears throat> yeah, it's, uh, from Volflame to Gold Driver, it's Counter Para Bloom. Okay. Yeah, we'll hit that. And then do this. I should have just lied. I should have been like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I remember that, yeah, because, like, the Volflame said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, really I, I know where the Bloom is. Twice. I'm going to be honest with you, chat. It's good he drew Change of Heart twice because he also has some cards in here like Ash Blossom that cook us alive that he has not drawn once since putting in the deck. True. Um... Oh, wait. Hold up. What's you do up? something about that? No. Oh, shit. I was like, what, what if it fails to resolve because it didn't go to your grave? Would that be cool? <laughs> I was thinking, you wait, could me... you have done, I don't know how the card works, could you have done the uh, the targeting prevention um, Sunvine card on that? Does that work for both players? Sun, Sun Avalon's getting targeted? I don't know. Ooh, I don't think that I have that card. That would have been interesting. Um, okay. Oh, the Maiden? Yeah, yeah, Ooh, the We'd maiden. have to find out. That card, is, that card did not make the cut, I'll tell you that. Right. Oh, no, dude, that card, that's what, like, I think I, that's why I lost last week. <laughs> I don't know, I lost to myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, activate or, the uh, Shishao. Like, oh, my God. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, work. yeah, okay. I'm not playing stack next week. I promise. I'm not playing stack next week. We won't oh, do no, it. You, you can do what you got. You do what you gotta do, baby. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, as long as he doesn't have another worm, we're fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Well. Oh, we we actually weren't. We knew you had the blackout. Yeah. Uh, man, yeah, it's like, no, okay, so I'll tell you, and you'll see the decklist in a, in a sec here, but I felt like I was doing it wrong the last couple weeks. The last couple weeks, I was just putting in, like, every worm monster I owned to try to draw cards to trigger the sword souls, because I was so afraid of, like, yeah. not having enough worms, but um, then I was just like, wait, if I, what if I just play dangers to draw into the cards that are good, but it turns out I just, That no. seems pretty unbeatable, honestly. Yeah, um, sword soul OP, so sorry, guys, I... No, I think I think I got him, chat. Like this. So let's me reborn from Dry Antieri. You want to play the game three for ad revenue? Sure. <laughs> What's up, guys? Remember to click all of the advertisements playing under this video. <laughs> What's up, guys? Remember to go to twitch.tv slash MBT Yu-Gi-Oh and give him uh, restitution for this ass beating. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This is just making up, up for guys? last week. It's just like... Remember to go to the Hill of the Tenyi and tell them that their religion is a lie. Uh, another banger opener. It's the same opener that we've opened three times. You I just mean... keep drawing full combo. like. <laughs> but yeah, that's the thing is like... This deck really can't not draw full combo and apparently every time with Volflame. But it's just like... Full combo is kind of mid. Where are that's the right. um, Zodiacs? Do you, are those still in the deck? Uh, no. No, I, I cut the zoos for this. No uh, This way. was the question is, do I want to play Zufos or do I want to play... Oh my god, please Ash this. <laughs> Alright, that was game three. He also, also has, has some cards in here, here like Ash Blossom, Blossom that cook us alive that he has not drawn, drawn once since putting in the deck. No, wait, that was... My hand was terrible! No, no, no! <laughs> my hand was literally... There was nothing else in the hand. Alright, let's see that deck list. Let's just... Let's take a look right, at this. Yeah, yeah. Let's... let's see what you're working for this. over there yeah. yeah i mean it's it's metal foes and box of friends i thought it was kind of cool the problem is box of friends doesn't do anything like i i was like it's oh, just more copies only, of loci like yeah i was like not only does it get us loci but like we can access the box of friends lies lines and they don't do a goddamn thing the thing that they do is contingent on their field spell which is not in the pack mm. um like oh, because the Chack and is generic, like right? So you can theoretically... Yeah, we have Chack yeah. in here just for force, yeah. But yeah, a Box of Friends is fine. Some Bow Wow is fine, you know? Sword Soul is just if you... really good and sealed. <laughs> Your deck looks crazy. Yeah, putting in the uh, the dangers looks like it kind of fixed everything. Yeah, I just cut every whoa, bad card whoa, whoa, and put whoa, in the good whoa, cards. Whoa, um, whoa. What's going on right next to Chusunoko there? Oh, this card? Oh, yo, this card I've never seen in my life. When this card is normal summon, you can discard to revive a level four from your grave. So it triggers the dangers, it revives, you know, sword souls. Um, and break, come, umbrella, <laughs> and they didn't show us this? Come on. You can, uh, yeah, because you can revive the Taya, make the Yazi, Taya, tri like, you can go to the Baxia line through this umbrella. It's wild. Didn't draw it. Anyway, um, good luck with those pulls. We'll play something different next week. See you later. Have a good one. Still coughing up sand. I fucking hate that place. <laughs> that didn't even happen in Cancun. <laughs> well, because Cancun was humid. Yeah, yeah. Not a dry heat. Cancun dry. was so nice. I'm still thinking about it. Doug, you're only rookie too. Oh, I know. I'm not. I I'm not training enough. Rookie. I'm not training.